Oh my god, are we on this again? All that and more coming up here on The Morning Jolt. What's up guys, Mark back here with yet another video. So today, I was browsing around on the inner tubes again. Well, it wasn't actually the inner tubes, it was, it was Petapixel. I'm getting to the point now where it is literally the... National Enquirer of Photography Websites. Am I wrong? Am I lying? Can I get an amen? So I was on there. I I'll tell y'all what I saw. I was on there and I was reading this article. I mean, I was, I don't know how well I was reading, but I, I did read it. And it was an article about a comparison of camera sensor sizes in photography by JP Morgan of The Slanted Lens. I got nothing against JP. Nothing whatsoever. Never met the guy, never talked to the guy. I have literally no personal beef with the man. But I'm reading this article. First of all, ain't we already got this information? How many times do we have to do the exact same video? I mean, all you gotta do is turn on YouTube literally any day of the week and you can find some jack-off that's already done the Hey, let's compare these sensor sizes and the depth of field. We've got that. We've got it. Been done. Zach Arias did it, what, like five years ago with his crop or crap video we got it i don't think we need it no more but as i was reading this article i was first of all shocked that he would make such a video because again we got it b he made it because oh come on now just tell the truth it was clickbait we all know it's clickbait i mean you can you can be honest i mean this is some shit that i would do seriously i mean You've got, like, 20 years as a professional commercial photographer, and this is the kind of trash... Look, just tell me that you needed some extra views. You wrote a bullshit article for Petapixel just so you could get a few extra eyeballs. You telling the truth would actually have been a better read than this. This is bullshit. Straight up kindergarten trash. Now look, I know I fool around quite a bit, but on occasion, you think that maybe someone is going to put something out there that's actually worth reading, something that's actually going to challenge potentially the way you think about a particular camera setup, a, a particular camera brand, a, a particular sensor size or low light performance. And I want to be challenged, but this is just third grade garbage. We've got these videos all over the place already. I don't think a 20-year veteran needed to make this video. This is some clickbaity ass shit that I would do. JP, what you doing, man? You trying to steal my thunder? You stole my thunder, god dang. So he did a camera comparison with four different cameras. He did a medium format, he did a full frame, he did APS-C, and then micro four thirds. He used a Hasselblad, a Sony A7R Mark III, a Canon 7D, and Panasonic GH5. He gets right into the test. It's exciting. It's actually kind of like a what the F. The first example he gives, he takes a Hasselblad F3.2 and then compares it apples to apples with a Panasonic at F3.2. You just did an apples to apples f-stop comparison between a medium format and a micro four thirds camera. I mean, how's that even like that? that that's not that's not a comparison. I mean, you're comparing two massively different size camera sensors and you're shooting them at the exact same f-stop? That's not a comparison, that's a setup for a stomp. I mean, I've shot every single possible sensor size that I've ever been able to get my hands on. Medium format, APS-C, full frame, micro four thirds, one inch sensors, all the, all the things. But why would you take a Hasselblad medium format and pit it up against a micro four thirds sensor and then shoot it at the same f-stop? I mean, if you really wanted to compare the depth of field that the two sensors were capable of producing, you would shoot on a much faster lens on the Panasonic, probably light your scene appropriately, f-stop around, I don't know, 1.2, 1.4, and then compare. But dude, this is just a straight up dick move. As a matter of fact, I think it adds more confusion. The article literally lends absolutely nothing to the differences in aperture and how that affects not only separation, but depth of field and everything in between. Like, this is just a bullshit article from top to the bottom. Then he goes on to do some other tests. He goes through the whole gambit F4.0, F5.6, gets to F11, and he's comparing full frame and, and crop sensor. He's going through all these different tests that literally make absolutely no difference. He also starts doing a bunch of tests about low no uh, low noise light structure and how the different grain patterns develop and all this other. It's like we already know all this because the larger sensors gather more light. 
So obviously they're not going to be as noisy because they've got more light. And then he's doing apples to apples, one to one comparisons of all the different sensors at ISO 1600. And it's like, what? Do you expect to happen, JP? You, I think you don't know. Just tell the truth, man. This is clickbait. You're just trying to throw out some easy shit so you can get some free views. Come on, man. Leave that shit up to me. I'm the I'm the easy cheese here. You think I'm pulling a Max Yuriev and doing a bunch of computer tests for four days? Locked in my office? Comparing Geekbench scores? You gotta be flipping kidding me. Nah, man. Nah, man. I ain't the one. You leave that easy cheese to me. You leave the clickbait to the professionals. JP, you leave it to me. So eventually he gets around to the point, we get all the way down to the bottom of the article, and these are his conclusions. He says, does sensor size matter? And he goes, why, yes, it does. If you want a high-performing camera, I was kind of surprised by the results. I wouldn't recommend a micro four-thirds if you're looking for a high-quality performing camera. Are you serious? This man, a professional photographer, literally just said sensor size matters if you want a high-performing camera. Didn't even discuss not only what the camera might be for, what type of job it's going to do, what kind of performance it has, based on specific needs, specific wants, specific job types. Not only was this article 110% effing trash it misleads and it ultimately confuses all of those new photographers are, oh i absolutely have to have full frame he literally comes to the conclusion that 35 millimeter full frame cameras are the best well no one could have seen that one coming good job like i said man i have shot with every single sensor out there and i have seen beautiful absolutely gorgeous results with just about every camera including cell phones, including point and shoots. I have seen gorgeous depth of field with just about every type of lens camera combination. I ended up picking up an APS-C size camera because I think that it was the best performing camera for not only what I do, but it also involved size, weight, ultimately the price of those lenses. I picked Fujifilm not because necessarily of the size. All of that was a factor for me. I picked Fujifilm for the quality of their lenses. Just about every other camera brand out there makes APS-C glass. But is it any good? Most of it is not. It's mainly, most of the other camera brands look at APS-C as entry level shit. Everyone is expected at some point to move up to full frame. Fujifilm was the only camera brand out there that actually took APS-C seriously and made wonderfully beautiful and robust lenses for that crop sensor. I picked based on my needs, the performance, high quality performance, high performing camera so in my opinion this whole article should literally never be read again should never be discussed again a because we've already got that shit we've already got this information one dickhead goes hey i really like full frame and if you like anything else besides that you're an idiot we've got those videos we know all about it sensor size is a personal preference it also has a lot to do with budget. It also has a lot to do with, are you uh, an active person? You want smaller size and weight? Are you a studio photographer and you want the utmost in resolution? Are you a landscape photographer who wants a cropped sensor that gives you extremely wide depth of field so that everything can be perfectly sharp and in focus? Are you a wildlife photographer who wants some extra reach so you grab a crop sensor camera so that you can get in tight, get in close? A high performing camera is going to be based on your needs. Not every full frame meets those needs. JP, you're busted. This article was bullshit and you should apologize somewhere publicly. Hey everyone, I'm JP and I just want to say that I uh, wanted to make a clickbait video. So I uh, hope everyone enjoys it and uh, doesn't get anything from it. So enjoy that. We'll see you guys on the next one. All right, boys, that's all I've got for you all today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also maybe subscribe to the channel if you happen to really enjoy it. That would be pretty damn awesome of you. Thanks so much for watching yet another Morning Jolt episode here on the Photo Video Show. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I'm going to see you guys again on the next one. Peace out.